Okay, there is going to be chapters in this video down the bottom if you want to skip ahead. This is part two of the series into DMA cheating in Escape from Tarkov. This video is going to be an interview. There might be more parts to come of this series. I've been making this series over quite a while to actually round up the information about DMA cheating and Escape from Tarkov. It is quite hard. It's not, these communities aren't easy to get into. They're not like a normal cheating community. You can't just roll into the Discord and all the information is there at your fingers. It's more so you have to go through a process to get into these communities. In most cases, you have to be recommended by people within the community first. You have to be, you have to prove that you're cheating. You have to prove you have a DMA. It's quite a process to get into most of these communities. They are very quiet and it's not run like a normal cheating community. Years ago, when I was involved in cheating, the DMA cheating scene in Tarkov was very very small. There was only a few small groups and they were very quiet and enclosed and not many people used DMA cheats for Tarkov, but something that's happened over time is more cheaters are going towards DMA. Those communities are getting bigger and bigger and there's more of them now. It is going to be a huge issue for Tarkov and just about every first person shooter game, in my opinion. There's not really too many answers for to stop. DMA cheating at this point in gaming. It's one of those things where games are flat out dealing with one PC cheats at the moment, let alone being able to do anything remotely close to even stopping DMA cheats. I don't think there's any DMA cheating communities in Tarkov that have, that have had proper ban waves and all of the users have been banned and wiped out. I No one I've spoken to has ever said anything like that. There has been minor ban waves where maybe 10 users users out of a couple of hundred will get banned, but it's it's usually manual bans for stats and things like that. It's it's not common that you get banned DMA cheating unless you are pretty blatant and you're rage cheating. You'd have to be really going out of your way to get caught. And it would be more so a manual ban, not so much a detection ban. Uh, it, it will be a continuing issue. And now that DMA cheating is getting cheaper and cheaper, it's going to become more common. And that's what's happening now. If you haven't seen part one to this series, it will be linked at the top of your screen now. Definitely go watch that first. There's a lot of information in there. These videos get heavily handicapped by cheaters and cheating communities and streamers I've exposed in the past for cheating and their whole communities. So definitely leave a like and a comment and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the video. So you yeah, can't cool. do you have the like the um the overlay thing where you can put the overlay on the first uh, screen? no oh, okay. so that's it's called a fuser and yeah. I don't really care to get one it's like it, it's not really needed when you have everything else yeah so do you still have like aimbot with this one uh yes so like that scab over there I have no line of sight on him but if I hold left control on my main PC they turn blue when I'm looking at them if they're within my FOB and it means that I'm locked onto them so if I'm looking this uh -huh. way my bullet will We'll just go that way and go to his head because it's just silent aim. Oh, okay, so it's silent. Do you have um? Do you have soft aim on this one? Uh, yes. Basically, if I put them within my FOV and then I they leave my FOV, I will no longer be aiming at them. Yeah. Um. Does it, does it so, look like human? Like a, a yes, human very. I I oh, use it in uh, arena, and I've never had a single person say anything to me on arena yeah. ever. Oh, it'd actually be really interesting getting a little demo of that because I I've been doing my toast streams on the weekends and people. Mm -hmm. A couple of people in the comments are like, that's not soft aim. I'm like, dude, I, I've seen him play with it, with it with cameras on his setup and his aim is completely different, bro. It's not his aim. Yeah. So I, um, I wrote some questions up and stuff. I don't really do um mm -hmm. interviews often. I get a lot of people that ask me, but it's usually just, um yeah, I don't, I don't really, I just, yeah. So I'll just say this. I can't, I can't say like, I'm, I can't have like cheat names and, and, and oh no, that's good. That's I literally clipped it down so that way the cheat name is literally not even in the OBS preview. I wrote down a couple of questions that I mainly want to ask. I did a video a while ago about DMA cheating. I personally don't know too much about it because mm -hmm. I the like when I did cheat, I just used like one PC cheats and yeah, it was more so they are they are so good in comparison. But I noticed like people that were that I met like mainly like the people that were cheating long term would move to DMA. 
it's just such a safer option. Like, there's, because of how detection works through, because Battle Eyes being the main anti-cheat for Tarkov and many other games, like, they're not doing anything about DMA, even though they try to say they are. There's no, so what's called detection vectors, there's not a single one for DMA, because there's nothing connecting the host PC to any kind of a cheat at all. Have, have you, um, have you been banned using DMA? On on DMA, no. I have been banned using another um, cheat that Goat made a video on. It was the same cheat, and I got banned on that two two and a half years ago. And I quit the game pretty much. Oh, there it is. I pretty much just quit the game completely. Pretty sure that's right. Yeah, there you go. Do you have Do you have so, to like turn the smoothing up and down, or does it just come and it just looks human stock standard? So as far as like uh that okay that's what you meant by soft aim okay you meant by okay you meant by smooth aim like stuff like that okay it does yeah. not have smooth aim so it's either a hard lock so it's it'll be like Willer's Eclipse where he's like just trolling yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's yeah. just yeah um or it will be so in the preview you see how he's flashing blue and yellow because I'm moving like towards him and then yeah. off of him again so this is that safe like it's called safe lock and yeah. it's if they leave my FOV they're no it's no longer locked to them. So yeah. the silent aim won't, like, say if I, you know, I'm staring right at somebody and then they, for some reason, decide to strafe to the right and I'm not ready for it, my bullet won't just all of a sudden curve to the far right of the screen. So you've had the same account since you, since you used DMA? It, yes. This account alone has lasted me nearly two years. Yeah. So what's that, like, four, three, four, what? Yeah, I've... This account currently has, I believe, 6,200 hours on it, and all of the hours are my own. Um, yeah. I didn't buy the account. I, I, yeah, of course I bought the account. Like I purchased yeah, the game yeah. myself, yeah. but I, it was not a pre-bought account with a whole bunch of stuff already on it. Um, I bought it just a standard fresh account because um, I like questing. That's my main thing. Yeah. So I literally have a standard account because it technically gives you more things to do. Yeah um i was gonna say um so like so the last guy that was in a dma community that spoke to me his cheat cut him off for talking oh uh, yeah yeah um I, I if he was to find out that this was me doing this video if it goes into one then he'd it'd be over uh i would really? get yeah i'd i'd lose access to it uh, because of, as i mentioned before like i've i made a dma cheat for another game with that experience i could definitely make my own dma cheat for tarkov especially with how much open source information there already is because tarkov has such a big cheating community and there's so many developers for different cheats that it would be really easy for me to just make one i actually um i was looking i was doing some research for the day for my next anti-cheat update video and um i saw that um there's a ton of like open source dma stuff that gets uploaded all the time and the people will be like oh this is old this and this doesn't work or this and this and but this is all still fine and people it seems to be like it's a lot like once you know there's like a couple of big names but like there's a lot of free open source stuff that anyone could just go and use and if they knew what they were doing they could easily just make so one. all that stuff like it's all just like and on a website that's just used by cheaters and cheat developers and all that stuff like there's a whole bunch of them that are just uploaded that you can e instantly use for like two or three weeks with no problems and then as soon as the game updates you're kind of screwed unless you know how to dump the game and get a whole bunch of offsets and how all of the different code actually works in the game so you get these memory addresses because everything is just associated to a memory address you just have to find what those new ones are and then just update the cheat so when people complain it doesn't work anymore okay they, most of the time, the creator posted, I'm not updating this, you have to know how to do it. And people just ignore that. Every single week, there's an update. Yeah. And every single week, I have to make sure that certain things are working again, certain functions that break on a weekly basis. And all it is, is the memory in the game is moved a few hundred addresses in a random direction. And so it's they, just, I, yeah, it's, everything just gets shuffled around. Does Tarkov do that a lot? Or not very um, much? Not very often. Not very often. It's only whenever there's an actual patch. And yeah. whenever there's an actual patch, not everything breaks, just like the game that I make one for. Um, 
for the late for the last patch that happened, I forgot what it was for. Um, for Tarkov, uh... this DMA was down for maybe an hour and a half, and then it was all back up, working order, no no problems, nobody has any kind of issues with anything. Yeah, I was speaking to um this other guy, and he was saying they have a way to dump everything and see what's changed or see what Battle is doing. Yes, it's really easy to do that. There are tutorials everywhere on the internet on how to do that to a Battle Eye game. It is very easy. Battle Eye is a joke. Have you? How long have you been cheating for, roughly? In Tarkov, I would say I started out. Um, I started playing Tarkov the wipe before they added reserve, yes. and the wipe of a reserve, like halfway into that wipe, I started using chams where I can just see everything through the walls, and it would just yeah. make everything glow. Um, and I used that for I think it was three months because they it was like a, it was like a three month key, and I used that for about three months, and then I stopped cheating for a while. Then I started using the cheat that Goat made a video on, and I. I had used that up until um, right before Inertia got added, which was about roughly two and a half, three years ago, something like that. Then, then I got banned um, right before Inertia got added. I quit. I had quit playing the game. I completely uninstalled it. I had no real, in, like, no real plan to get was back it, into the game because I just didn't it, care. Was it manual ban just for like stats or whatever? Or oh no, it was a detection ban. I got detection. Yeah. I got detected. Was um, it because the... it was it was a one PC. It was all one PC, and it was. Yeah. I was also going extremely blatant. It was pretty yeah. obvious what I was doing. Was it when they removed the um the stamina and the loot through walls off that one? When when that uh, I think I think so. Yes, I think so. Yeah, my game crashed. Jesus, that was so long. I think just about everyone that's cheated in Tarkov's used that cheat at some point. I. Eh? Insane. Yeah, I was in a call yesterday in the server for this cheat, and there was like six, seven of us in the call while we were playing Arena, and we ended up talking about it, and every single person in that call had used it. Even the creator of the cheat had used it, and it's, it, it was, it kind of, as far as like the cheating community goes, everybody knows what it is. It, it, like, if somebody was to see a screenshot of somebody playing the game with that overlay, everybody instantly knows what it is, just because it's that recognizable. Um, but they lost... All of their what is what's the word for it? Um, their reputation because well, of the amount nice. of detections they've had. Yeah, I think in the last six months they've had three or four detections. While yeah. before that they were clean forever. I got to send a screenshot of the email that they sent everyone after the second one, and um, they were like promising everyone that they they figured it out, and and then sure enough, like three weeks later, there was <laughs> yeah. I, I looked in the Discord and, and a heap of them were banned again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. It was really really bad. It was funny. Um, there thing. was actually a ban wave for this cheat, this DMA. There was a small ban wave um, for yeah. the community behind this exact one. I believe it was 20, 20 25 days ago, something like that. Um, yeah. Almost a month. And it was a very small ban wave. So in that server and like the total amount of people using it, because again, the owner kind of told me, uh, there's roughly 700 to 750 people using it that, that are actively getting on, and about 10 to 12 people got banned. That was it. Um, I, wonder, I wonder what it was. It might have just been like a feature or something. I noticed um, a, lot of, a lot of the one PC cheats have that loot through walls back again. It's because it was fully added back in everything. It's not a really hard thing to do. It's just that the range of it got shortened. So you can only reach things like one meter away now, and it used to be three. Yeah. So it, it you used to be able to really grab things through walls. Like if if you still see a black key card instead of green right now, you can still grab it. You'll be fine. But if you were to see, say, a Bitcoin in red and it was on the table on the other side of the wall, you can't grab it now. Yeah. So for me, I will use my radar yeah. and I will most of the time just aimbot scavs because I can't be asked. Yeah. And if there is another cheater in the lobby, I am turning on rage, speed, and infinite stamina and I'm going and I'm killing them. Yeah. If there's people doing tasks, I ignore them. If there are people grabbing loot, I ignore them. If there are people around my task, I will try to get them to fuck off by legging them. Yeah. Because I don't really I don't really want to fuck with other people to a point. I, I just, yeah. I don't really want to. There's no, I just don't have a reason to give a fuck about them. And it's just like, I'm cheating at the end of the day. Why would I just want to go over there and ruin their day? Because I know exactly where they're at and I can easily just headlock on them if I have to. So like, if someone's closet cheating, like, do, so say out of all the I cheaters, out of all the I cheaters really in fast. Tarkov, right, what, um, mm -hmm. when, what percentage do you reckon are closet cheating, like super low profile? Um... 
so far this wipe, and I've put, I've put in a I've put in roughly three hundred fifty hours in the last two and a half weeks. So I've been going crazy. Yeah. Um, I would say in that amount of time, I've probably seen six to seven, six or seven very blatant, obvious cheaters that are tracing everybody through the walls, including me, and they're tracing a whole bunch of other people, hitting all the headshots. They have crazy survival rates, like stupid, crazy stats that are blatantly obvious. And I'd say there's like 10 to 20 that I was questioning. And if I'm questioning if somebody's cheating or not, there are legit legitimate concerns. It's either... Their hours don't line up with something. They're, the way that they're looking around the map at things doesn't make any sense. Or sometimes I will literally follow somebody around. And there's been certain times where me doing that, I'll follow around a two and a three man. All but one of the guys is going ahead. They're going to where they're going. But there's this one guy who keeps turning around and looking perfectly at me through a rock. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's like, obviously, like, at the end of, sometimes it could just be luck, it could just be some random, it, who knows, maybe he just, for some reason, was looking in my direction, and it just kind of happened to be a coincidence three times, you know? Like, sometimes that can happen, but most of the time it means that they're cheating, and they're just trying to hide it from their buddies, or they're sitting in an LFG channel, and they're just playing with random people, they don't want them to know they're cheating so they don't get banned from the server, stuff like that. I reckon, like, the, most, the most people are closet cheating, like, the majority. Yeah. The big, big main because majority, eh? I would say the majority are closet cheating now because, believe it or not... Like what people people want to say, BSG doesn't do anything. Yeah, they don't do anything about cheaters, but they do. Especially yeah. this wipe, they have been on top of it like fast. They, yeah. they they have been doing a lot better this wipe than any of the past wipes that I really noticed a big thing about cheaters. I try to um say that to people on my channel because I was I used to make like troll videos and like stream snipe streamers and and I cheated in a few different games and. Compared to other games, like it's not, don't get me wrong, it's not the best game for, but it, it is an annoying game to cheat in. Like you have to be, mm -hmm. even just to cheat, like you're constantly, it's like more of an effort to cheat than just to play because you got, you constantly like, oh, I can't do this. I've got to make sure I'm doing this. I've got to, it's like, you know, you, you got to be on top of it because if you don't, you're going to get banned pretty easily. Yeah. And then if, and then if you do, it's like, mm -hmm. it's expensive. It's, it's a mess around. It's like, it's. You don't know if you're hardware banned after that. It's like it's 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 a painful game to cheat in. It's not the hardest game. It's not the hardest game to get away with cheating in, but it's it's not as bad as everyone says it is. Like it is very annoying and a hassle to cheat in it consistently. It's it, just the cheater numbers are a lot lower than people think. Yeah. Like, especially this way with how bad head throat is. Um, a lot of people are just complaining about cheaters when they don't exist. I've been playing with a lot of because I spend a lot of time in the big official server and I just play there like majority of the time. So you play with normal and, players? Yeah, I play with normal players all the time. Yeah, like it. Today I haven't because I've just been trying to get Sturman to spawn, but he still has not spawned one time. Yeah. Um. I, I will play with normal players, share my screen to them, and everything that I have so far this way. I've not had a single person that has thought I am sus. Yeah. Because my reactions are genuine. Because like I'll you know I'll see like a documents case, a Bitcoin, and a and a injectors case sitting in marked room. You know, and I'll be like, you know what? I I kind of want to hit marked room, guys. We're like we're really we're literally right next to the building, and I just hit I go hit it, and then I you know just give the slight little freak out. You know, it's like I've, holy shit, I just I made some money. You know, and there's like a Bitcoin over there. I've noticed that a lot with people that are closet cheating. They always have people that they're playing with that don't cheat. Like I, because of like when I used to do it, I was, I would hang around other people that were cheating, other people that were like me. But it, something I've noticed the last year since I've been doing this on this channel is every cheater I've like investigated, they always have a huge circle of legit players around them that just have no idea and that are just clueless. Mm -hmm. I have told a good amount of people, um, but I tell them after I've played with them a while and I, figure out how they actually feel about it but yeah i have noticed that just about every like uh streamer that i've investigated that ended up being a cheater they have a massive group of legit players around them that are just completely clueless and and like you can show them the evidence on a platter and they'll just they just won't accept it they'll be like no i've played with this dude for a year he's not cheating like and they just don't people just can't grasp it like but they're the same people that say this game's full of cheaters but they just it's never they their refuse team. To, yeah yeah they just never, refuse to see it it's never their teammate it's never the streamer they watch it's always 
everyone else cheats in Tarkov except for the people I know. It's it's a weird. Well, little... it's it's similar to the real world because in the real world, you know, you look at somebody that killed somebody else. That's exactly what happened. You just can't yeah. see the truth. I, that's one of my biggest battles on this channel is is dealing with that. Just the angry mobs of people that just can't grasp it that their friend is cheating or their streamer is cheating or you know it's it's mm -hmm. insane but um so five wipes you've been cheating on this count so when you first started cheating in tarkov compared to now would you say it's worse or better like do you better. come across better yeah way better yeah. way better tarkov has gotten a lot but like bsg and, and uh, like as a company alone like people like they sit there and they spout all this stuff about bsg and nikita now they don't care about cheaters cheaters do nothing but funnel the money because they keep buying new accounts and all that stuff like it's not true like yes of course there's money involved with it which is why they want to ban people you know it kind of makes sense if some guy that's cheating for some reason keeps buying unheard you know, three, four, five times because they just have a ton of money to throw away. That makes Nikita happy at the end of the day. It really does. But no matter what, they're still going to get banned if they keep doing stupid things that gets them banned. Yeah, those it's, people are the, numbers are, yeah, the numbers are way down. The people that do the old, oh, BSG likes cheaters in their game. It's like, dude, no game likes cheaters in their game. You know what I mean? What's, what would be the point of making a game if you want it to be full of cheaters? It's just, it's... I feel makes like no it's, sense. It's... But it's just not something you can stop. It's just it, it's you'd have to be a magician to to stop it. It's too it's come too far. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's yeah. You know, like I, I the, the other day I was talking to a dude. There's still open source programs where you can just put them inside your game loader and just get around any hardware band that are just free that are open source that people still use to this day. Yeah. It's, it's, um. There's one that I used. Um, a long time ago, it's probably still free. It was on GitHub when I used it. Yeah, and it I hasn't been updated in like six years, but yeah. it still works perfectly. Yeah, that's what I used when I was because I was paying for spoofers at first because I was getting banned so much because I was killing streamers and my accounts would just get banned like constantly. But then someone gave me that, and I never had to buy a spoofer again. It was literally like, and it never got fixed. It never got changed. And I spoke to someone about a week ago and it and it's still a thing it's still it's still happening so it's a yeah people just seem to think that they don't ban or they don't hardware ban they do it just doesn't do anything it just it point it's next to pointless it's also just because battle eye it's battle eye's way of i of hardware banning people and ip banning people is very lackluster oh that's a good question actually so a lot of people in my comments and a lot of people in my discord say this do you think ban waves are better for the game or not? Should they ban a cheater? Yes. They are ban waves yeah. every time. So a ban wave, and you've maybe already said this, thought about it, or heard it, anything yeah. like that. Ban yeah. waves. If say, for example, if infinite stamina was to get fully detected on DMA, external, internal, whatever, on you know, like last week, nobody's yeah. been banned yet. One month later, every yeah. single person that has been using that cheat for the last month gets banned. Yeah. All that means is that the cheat developer has no clue yeah. what got detected. So they have to sit there and experiment, test a whole bunch of stuff. They have no idea what just got thousands of people banned in an instant. They have no clue. Meanwhile, if they were to ban everybody instantaneously, as soon as they activate instant sta infinite stamina or after one raid or two, yeah. that makes it so that way the developer can pinpoint, oh, sh oh no, infinite stamina is detected. Let's disable that until we can figure out a new way of doing that. I, I have been saying this to my viewers for eternity but still all through my comments all in my discord is people oh, that, are, that are saying the only reason there's ban waves is is for money uh they're not better for the game uh, nah. but, and, and it's like dude it, you, like if you banned all those players instantly it would be the same exact amount of money it's and i say to people it's like you don't understand how also how a cheating community works like if five people get banned for using infinite stamina for example they're going to make an announcement in the Discord. They're going to say, don't use it instantly. Then the other 2,000 cheaters that are using that cheat are going to get away with cheating and keep cheating for the rest of the wipe. Like, yeah. And then the cheat's going to turn it off and remove it from their cheat. And then all those guys keep cheating. Like, why not get all of them? For, yes, they keep cheating for three weeks, but it's better than 90% of them cheating 
for the next six months and not getting caught, you know? it's Plus, it's honestly a morale killer because if you have yeah. a cheater that's sitting there thinking that they're getting away with everything, you know, they're leveling up an account, they just are getting a ton of stuff. Oh, may maybe they're about to get Kappa, you know? And then all of a sudden, they get hit with a band wave. That's a morale killer. They're less likely to just get another account and start playing again because they just got finished doing a ton of stuff. Why is my airdrop landing all the way over there when I threw it here? What? Okay, it's saying the airdrop is over does it, there. What? Does it say where the airdrop is on? <laughs> oh, is that what the red thing is? Um, so that red thing over there, that's a player. Oh, okay. Um, that is that yellow thing is a scab, and the other red thing um is another player, but the airdrop is the blue like oh, I can zoom in. So the blue air. It just uh for some reason it was popping up in the middle of my radar for a minute because it was still rendering in. But um yeah, everything is shown for me. Say... So even extracts and like quests oh, so players... all of my quests that player's um, coming towards you. Yeah. yeah, that player's coming over to me. Uh, does, does I'll, just it say... I'll just leg him if he tries. Um but it's like um I have ev so I'm shown everything. So yeah. all of my quests that I currently have active, if I had one on the woods right now, like I do have one, uh, where my green my my line of sight is the green line, so down near at the bottom left, um, is a little pink up arrow. Yeah. Um and that's because there is a quest over there. That's like centralized over there, um, and that it's I, I'm instantly shown where all of my current quests are. So any quest where I have to go to a location, stash something, pick something up, I am immediately shown where all of them are yeah. on my map, and even things that have dynamic spawns like diaries and stuff like that on streets, it's all shown exactly where they are. So I can just zoom in and I can see exactly where those quest I am, those quest um, objectives are. Yeah. Oh, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Does he even? I don't think he knows about the airdrop. He's just. I don't think he does. Eyes. Yeah, yeah, he's probably just going to outskirts. Yeah. Yeah, he's just going fucking with that guy. I'll just let him do his deal. Hopefully he won't try to steal it. Does it um does it say like what all that info and stuff, like their KD? Uh yes. So it's really hard to see because of how I have it set up, but all that random text that you see at the top right of the second of the second screen. Yeah. That shows me um I have their names turned off for obvious reasons. Yeah. yeah. And the type of account they have. So if they have an yeah. EOD or an unheard account, I know about that. Yeah. Their hours, their the amount of raids they've done this flight, their survival rate, if they're in a group and which number they're in. Yeah. Um, the value of all the gear on them, what gun they have, like... what ammo they're using, all that stuff. Do you have to aim your little line on them to get all that to come up, or does it just like say it? Um so it's always there. From yeah. as soon oh, as okay. you see, for example, if I see waiting players, waiting for players in lobby, yeah, that is, that's when I can see the entire map. That's when yeah. I can see all of the loot. That's when I can see everything. Yeah. Oh, woods ain't as, ain't as good as it used to be for loot. Well, so what? Yeah, it's pretty bad. What's the triangle thing on the bottom there? Um, bottom left, bottom right. Uh, bottom left of the radar. What are those three? And then there's like a yellow line in between showing them. So here, I can actually do this since there's nothing over here. So are you talking about these guys? Yeah. So this is a team. And oh. the way that I know they're a team is because they have the little lines connecting them all. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Have you, um, those... do, you, do you know about Suddenly Toast? Uh, yeah, I've I've seen a good bit about him, and uh, I he's a joke. He yeah. he is a joke. What um uh, what's your what's your consensus of him? So what do you run me through the setup that you think he's rocking? What's your prediction? I feel like he's definitely running a fuser on a DMA, like hundred yeah. percent. he he definitely. So what I do for my setup? So I've I've been DMA checked before. Yeah, it was like a year ago. I had people that were in in a community of people that were convinced that I was cheating. Yeah. and after showing them my entire PC, they were convinced because they were still incredibly convinced that that I was cheating. Yeah, I they were like, "You've got to be using a DMA cheat. There's just no way you're not." Yeah. So I have my entire setup to where you cannot tell if you were to actually come over to my house and look at my PC, all of the connections to it, you would not be able to tell that I am actually using a dma at all yeah because what i've done is i have a mini pc that is next to my power supply in my main rig oh. so the only way you're going to see that mini pc is if you take the back panel off of my pc and you look up in there 
Yeah. Um, on top of that, the actual DMA card itself, I have connected to a ribbon cable that yeah. is in my motherboard wrapped down under, so it's all hidden underneath a plate that you can't see past. So, if like, I've been DMA checked, and I've had an entire community, after doing all of that, still to this day, they believe that I am 100% legit. Yeah, and you never can. But if they, but um, I play with them every once in a while, and I yeah. share my screen all the time. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm not as active in there as I used to be. Um, and honestly, if any of them see this video, they're going to recognize my yeah. voice, and I'm instantly being banned from there, and it's not a big deal to me anymore. Yeah. But it's you know, it's it's pretty easy to convince people of your legitimacy of their of your legitimacy if you do the correct setup whenever you're doing stuff like this. Especially yeah. since I'm not rage baiting players, I'm not hunting down everybody in the lobby. I'm not doing things like that. I'm just yeah. tasking and I'm just yeah. killing who I have to. Like I don't even think I've killed 200 PMCs this way. Would um uh, I kind of want to see your stats, but you'd have to like obviously hide. Yeah, I'd have you know. to. I'd have to set it back up. Yeah, I'd have to move where things are covered up. Yeah. Um. Do you have a high KD or is it low? Um, so I try to keep an eight. I try to keep it there. Yeah. I yeah, try to keep it like any, bad. like I hover, it hovers around eight all the time. So it's just like a good player, but it's not, you know, somebody that's cracked and it's not somebody that's cheating. It's obviously, you know, it's not something yeah. like that. I, um, I, the, the theory, the, the stuff that I see in my comments and that people say to me all the time, it, it, I just, it, because a lot of people that I know cheat, they're actually half decent at the game. And that's why they get away with it for so long is because people just have this assumption that, Cheaters are just always cheaters are re yeah, really bad at the game. Yeah. You know, they, they'd never have more than a thousand followers on Twitch. They're always really bad at the game. Just all these assumptions, and it's like, dude. And then, uh, like, like recently, uh, when I did the Stankrat thing, the, the whole comments was just full of reasons why they don't think people cheat, and it was like, he's, he's bad at the game, so that's why I know he's not cheating. He's... <laughs> all this stuff, and it's like, dude... It's always the there person. There are all you, forms. Yeah, There's all forms. Like, There's always the person you do not expect, and it's that way for a reason. If it's the person you would expect, then they're not closet cheating. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I've have had a couple people in, say, for example, the official Discord that yeah. I have, like, that I know in fact are cheating. Like, yeah. I, because I, that they, they're playing differently than me. They're ego pushing people. They're on a newer account. It's pretty obvious that they don't know what certain stems do. Like, yeah, yeah. it's and it's like they just have general, really bad knowledge of the game, but they're for some reason just slaying everybody. They just know where everybody is going to push and all this stuff while I'm watching where they're looking on my other monitor, and it's pretty obvious to me. Yeah. And they just, a lot of the people that do stuff like that, they have a really big ego complex. Yeah. And, they tend to try to act like they're better than everybody. It is something that's a problem, like that actually yeah. puts a bad, like, you know, it's that's what puts a bad taste in people's mouths is the way that certain cheaters will act about why they're so good, quote unquote. And it, it, it definitely puts it in more of a bad light than it already should be in. Because I noticed, that, like, for me, when I was going through my phase, like when I would do like the rage cheating and trolling stream and stuff. I hung around those type of people that were just, if they were cheating, they were just wankers about it. And then they'd just go back to playing mm -hmm. games normally most of the time. But then, mm -hmm. then there was like the closet cheating dudes that would always have like, even just to go to their discord, they'd be like, Oh, don't say this. Don't do that. And they always have like a massive group of like legit players that they've conned around them. And it's like, it's like, bro, that's <laughs> like, it'd be annoying to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah. How much did your um did your whole so say how much did you spend on your entire setup like your whole DMA um like even including my main PC or no like let's just let's just say includes everything you... I need to cheat yeah did you, did you only get your second PC to cheat with so initially I got my second PC to actually make a DMA cheat with but then I quit pretty quick I yeah. I said yeah enough this is not for me I'm too stupid. Yeah. Um, that was again like that was like that's been it's been a while. I could go look at receipts and give you the exact dates, but it's been a long time. Where in the hell is this ammo? Um, but I'd say so. The second PC that I use, I think I got it for 150 160 off of Amazon. So you don't need anything special, it can be a pretty cheapo second PC. It's just yeah. it, you know, it's just got to have a little bit of RAM on it, SSD. It's not hard yeah. to get, especially yeah. nowadays. Well, my whole second um, PC is literally all just spare parts from upgrading over the last, like, 
two, three years. Yeah, that can work too. It's like, it, it really doesn't take much to run a cheat. And then the card itself, I have a low end card. Um, I have a pretty cheap card and firmware for it, which is the main thing that keeps people you know, safe and undetected. Yeah, yeah. Um, altogether, I think was 200. So my actual ribbon cable that I use, because it has to be an actual high speed ribbon cable um, for a PCI slot, that was another 50. Yeah. Um, in total, after like thinking about a few more things like how prices has changed like you know i could easily rebuild the same thing for 500 bucks yeah. four or 500 yeah. and um and you have to pay like the monthly thing for the yeah cheat as well eh? so monthly for what i'm using is 50 bucks a month yeah i noticed um dma cheats are actually cheaper than uh one pc cheats mm-hmm it's because there's less, less effort involved in creating because yeah. you don't have to worry about anti cheat. You don't have to worry about it. You can ignore that. Yeah. Which is one of, that's what takes time in updating a cheat. That's what takes time in doing all this extra stuff. But if you don't have to do that because you're using a direct memory access card, you don't have to, you don't have to care about any of that. You can just be like, oh, this is the memory address. All right. Let's write, let's write to that. Let's, let's read this. Yeah. And it's, there's no security measures. Yeah. It's still, so 500 and then like 50 a month. So that's still, and then accounts, and if you get banned, and that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's a it adds of money. up. It gets yeah. up there. Yeah, it gets up there. Yeah. Um. Do you do you ever have to drop your KD, or do you just? I do every once in a while. I'll I'll do it like if I get to a nine, like if I get to a nine KD, I'll sit here and I'll just be watching Netflix or something, and yeah. I'll just be loading into a woods raid with two heavy bleeds, just yeah. like you know, like five ten times, and then I'll just get off the game. I had a guy telling me um, my last interview I did, I think it was like, I don't know, like three months ago. He was saying um, they, I don't know, it might have been a theory of his, but he was saying if you load in with nothing a lot, they um, they usually ban those people quicker for some reason. And he was saying it's better to like wear stuff. Like take stuff in. I I don't believe that. I I think that he's just coping, honestly. Yeah. Um, because if that was true, then even streamers would get banned because of zero to hero runs. Yeah, true. Do you have to do that like a lot, or like what, like once a week or something? Um, I'll do it like once every four or five days. I think um the longest someone's gone without cheating that I've actually seen, like um like I knew him. And um, mm -hmm. I think he was like three or four thousand hours. And, um, okay. Yeah, but um, I feel like every cheater you talk to, they they've never been banned. Not every cheater, nah. but, but most. <laughs> it's the most of them have been banned six yeah. or seven times, and it's like they're on their ninth account, and they're you know yeah. they I just like these... to say they've never been banned. Yeah, I get these dudes that come into my comments on my live streams or whatever, and they just it's like they talk to me like I don't like I, I never did it you know like i've never been banned i got a 160 kd and it's oh dude shut up i i will never i don't really understand full ragers i guess it's because like my reason is i still want to play the game yeah um that's why i like as soon as players get near me if i'm gonna be fighting them and stuff like i don't i don't use my radar anymore so i don't i don't like zoom in to what's going on I just like we're in the same building. Okay, cool. I know that. Yeah. But, you know, and then that's the end of it. Do you have the uh the mouse thing that that what's that one called? It like does um, your is it, it's for soft aim and it does like your um. Uh no, I do not have a KM box. That's what it's called. Yeah. So that's because that's not needed for the type of aim that Tarkov allows. So Tarkov has two ways of doing aim. There's the hard lock and silent aim. Yeah. So so how silent aim works is it's literally just you know it just locks onto it bends the bullet. It's just yeah, bullet yeah. bending. And then hard lock is the Willersy troll moments yeah, where it yeah. literally perfectly aims you at them, and it's all with memory. Yeah, is it super? Um, can you do the one? I want to uh, see. What, yeah, maybe, I like, can do the Willers D one. I'll do the Willers D one. Do like the super chillest one, the one that looks like the most legit. I want to compare it to Suddenly Toast. Like give us the best Suddenly Toast example. Because right, so I noticed be... his his is like really like, subtle. It's it's the best is, I've seen. No, I'm not so lie. this. So this is the most blatant one. So that scab in front of me is what I'm locked onto. And you see how my gun's not swaying? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's literally perfect. So, yeah. like, it's just, it, it's a full lock onto them at all yeah. times. It's like insane. Um, Yeah, it's it's literally, like, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah, yeah it's insane. it's pretty obvious, you know. Yeah. Can you give um, us, like, the streamer setup? Like, the give us the rundown of the streamer uh, setup. What would a yeah, streamer be rocking? On. Let's say, you know, you've got uh, yeah. 100, 100 viewers, you want to keep it low-key. That scat's probably going to kill me. Um, you know, 
your um your careers on the line. Give us like the yeah, most... my careers on the line. Yeah, right. your, your career, your bedroom careers on the line. All right, in my bedroom careers, all <laughs> shit. I don't know. Yeah. All right. They so kind of know that I'm cheating. Give us, give us that little. All right. So how it works is it's all just based off of an FOV, which I don't have a fuser, so I can't see the overlay on my main monitor. Yeah. But like there would be a circle on my monitor somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be that FOV circle. If they're within that, then yeah. they get shot. If they don't, then they don't. Uh, yeah. I forgot to turn on the safe block. There we go. All right. So, for example, there's this scav right over here. Yeah. So, I'm going to swap this over here. So, oh, he's pissed at me. It, you know, scav, the scav aimbot yellow lines, you know, they're, you know, they know what's up. Yeah. So, where did he go? Like, it, so right over. All right. Oh my so god! Wow. See how I'm missing? Yeah. Like, as soon as I have him within my FOV, it's just a perfect shot right on him. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So as soon as it's, oh bro, uh, that looks like suddenly Toast's aim. That that was yeah. like that was yeah. that was Toast in a nutshell. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I don't know where this guy. He's fucking way over there. How many? Um. Let's say I'll give you. Let's say um. There's. 300 streamers live right now on Twitch streaming Tarkov. How many of them do you reckon are, are cheating? 25. 25, so about one... What's that? Roughly like eight. Roughly roughly like seven, eight percent, something like that. Yeah, so like one in 20-ish? One in 15? One in 20? Yeah, something like that. It's about the same for cheaters in the game, I reckon, but it like fluctuates. Like one in 15, I, I, one in 20. I would say like, honestly, of all of those, like of the streamers that are cheating, let's say they're 20, like there's tw you know there's 20 30 people that are cheating on Twitch right now that are like that actually have you know more than 10 viewers i would say maybe two of them are using aim so even a smaller amount because aim can you, if if you're getting being watched by a bunch of people and yeah. you hit some weird sus shot it's going to you're going to get caught very easily yeah. but if you're only using radar and you're not sitting there and staring at it 24/7 yeah. you can get away with it for pretty much forever you're actually having good raids. You haven't been. You haven't had anyone. Yeah, I haven't had a single per. Like of all these raids so far, I have not had one person that I believe is cheating. I haven't had a like. I haven't had the slightest bit of sus anything in my entire raid. Yeah, not one. And that's how it is a lot of the times. Like, like people just they just cope. It's it's just a lot of cope. <laughs> yeah. And even of the times I've died, because as I said, like I take fights in a legitimate way where I'm not just aim locking people. I'm not sitting there staring at where they're at 24 seven. Yeah. Like I'll die to players. And it's like, I report every single one of them because for all I know, they could just be hiding it extremely well. Do you, um... And that's something that uh, like, honestly, I think honestly, it's a bad habit because if less people report, unless they're 100% sure that somebody is cheating, then they can actually trust it, the it, report. Yeah. It would make it a lot easier to go through the reports too. Yeah. Because it, you know, people, it, yeah, it's, it's a bad habit that I have where I report everybody. Yeah. Um, I got a good spawn though. So that, that's good. I, I did a video about six weeks, oh, probably two months ago now about DMA and um how i've noticed it's getting more like more people are more cheaters are gravitating towards it um especially the people that like closet cheat like long-term cheaters mm -hmm. um do you reckon it's getting more more and more common when i was like involved in all that stuff it was like like no one was using dma there was like a, a couple like two or three really small communities that were doing it but now it's like there's like 10 and they have going on a thousand plus people and it's just so much more common now um so i'm zoomed in a good amount here so whenever you see those uh long yellow lines that's yeah. because of a scat that's when i'm being aimed directly at yeah so people that complain about scav aimbot it's real it's yeah. it's real and it's bad it's really bad oh so um so with the loot in containers now, did most cheats resolve that? Uh, no. So it's something that cheats, as far as I'm aware, cannot bring back because of the nature that BSG went through of protecting that. Yeah. So what happens now with it is all of the loot is generated when somebody loots that container. Oh. So, um... So when when a raid starts, like say for example, 
the server would generate what loot's going to spawn, but it, it actually hasn't spawned somewhere yet. It, it gets like randomized as stuff gets opened now. It, yes. Everything wow. is randomized as everything is opened. Oh. Ah, that's, um, that's a smart way to do right. it. I thought, I if honestly. I'm, I'm like about to lose my mind because these scabs are pissing me off. Yeah. I um honestly was just expecting it to be like a a little one off ESG special where they just like fix it, but then it just gets oh, resolved within. Oh um, no, they cooked. They yeah. cooked. Like they they did honestly like really good. Yeah. With how they implemented that change, um, it like even you know this is like going to be weird coming from somebody that cheats on a daily basis but having actual integrity back to the game is genuinely yeah. good i get a lot of people that say this to me as well they're quitting tarkov to get away from cheating do you think leaving tarkov to go off to play another first person shooter game do you think that person is going to get away from cheating no not in the slightest <laughs> it doesn't matter what game you go to you're delusional if you think you're getting away from it yeah well i, I get a lot of people that say that to me and i just i and I just I, I I I don't really say anything, but I just think to myself like, what game you're you an gonna, idiot? What game? <laughs> like, <laughs> like what game are you gonna go to? Like, okay, you're gonna stop playing Tarkov because of cheaters, but what game are you going to go to that doesn't have the same issue? You the know? only game you can go to that doesn't have a cheater problem are dead games, ones yeah. that you're never gonna be able to play with anybody on, ones that have a horrible gameplay loop, ones that just suck. Like yeah. those are the only kind of games you're gonna get on that don't have cheaters. Yeah. That or you can just go play single player. Like